Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something. Hey, welcome back. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. And before we get started on the video I'm about to, to uh, talk about, um, I did do a video similar to this. Um, there are some added things that are going to be in this video, but I did do this back in the beginning of December. Um, so if you want to get some more details on a lot of things, because I'm not going to cover all that, uh, go back and watch that video and I'll put a link up here for it. All right, so what I'm going to talk to everybody about today is um, the food crisis that we are probably going to be coming into come uh, summer, fall, and into next year. And with the amount of food that has already been pilferaged from all the stores, from everybody freaking out, and no limitations being put on what people could buy, um, rather, uh, if the government wants to admit it or not, uh, that has put a quite a strain on uh, the supply chain and what is available. Now you have all the countries in the world are all being affected by this bug. And it is disrupting a lot of uh, their planting seasons uh, their, or their harvest seasons, depending on what part of the world they're in. Um, I know in China, uh, they had a big push going on. Uh, they needed to get the rice in the fields so that they would be on target for their, you know, their harvest time. Um, I haven't been able to find anything that says if they did or they didn't. Um, I did find an article that stated that they were uh, forcing their farmers to make sure that in light of the virus that was going on, the bug, uh, to make sure that their fields were planted. Now, whether that actually took place or not, I don't know. Um, but you also have to take into consideration what this is going to do with, um, that I haven't heard anybody talk about, with the climate and the climate change this is going to cause. Because we've all seen the pictures um, of the... Uh, from the satellites over China from say a few months ago till you know like a month ago and you can see how clean the air is actually and that is filtering around over to our neck of the woods um, because a lot of people aren't traveling um, a lot of states have shut down airlines aren't flying as much um, and if you noticed uh, the temperature is starting to rise quite drastically. Um, here in Florida, they're talking this coming weekend, which would be, uh, we're in March, um, they're talking that we could break uh, high temperatures from back in 1907. That's uh, a long time ago. So this, all this emissions, you know, lack of emissions, it has made the air cleaner, which is a good thing, but what people don't realize is that allows more of the radiation and the sun rays to come in and make it all the way to the ground instead of being reflected back up into the atmosphere. Now, what is this going to do for um, all of our um, poles where... Uh, the ice is melting at a rapid pace. Is this going to speed this up? One would have to think, now I'm no scientific um, specialist here, but you put two and two together, and if it's warming up, um, things are going to melt even faster, which could create more problems down the road as far as flooding. Um, the oceans are warming up a lot faster faster so I think you may see this year um, I'm already starting planning and prepping for a very active hurricane season 
because of this and anybody that lives along uh, the Gulf Coast, the East Coast from Florida all the way up to Maine, um, I'm, you may want to really pay attention to this. Um, I think that this is going to cause um, a dramatic change in our weather come this summer and, and fall. Uh, springtime, I've already seen on uh, quite a few YouTube channels that I follow and uh, they have homesteads and they're having problems getting their, um, their planting their gardens and everything else and they live in the south but they've been getting so much rain that everything is nothing but just a big muck pile. Now here in Florida, the last inch of miserable rain that we had, one inch, was back in October of last year. It has been bone dry. Now they're starting to put up, you know, the red flag fire warnings. Um, so what my plan is to do is I went out and, well, I went online on Amazon and I ordered myself a dehydrator so that I can buy fresh fruits and vegetables um, either at the grocery stores or if the farmers markets open back up uh, try to get you know fresh stuff and I can dehydrate them because if you can dehydrate them and then say seal them in either like a mylar bag with an oxygen absorber or if you have a vacuum sealer that way or another way that you can do it is dry can it in a mason jar and those can last if you dry uh, your vegetables um, they will last 10 years plus if you dry anything sugary like strawberries and peaches and, and you know those type of things they'll last five years plus so that is uh, what I am going to start doing um, the one issue is if you go on Amazon and you order something that is quote non-essential right now um, you will not be getting that product for up to a month now I ordered mine uh, the other day and the estimated ship date is April 21st so just keep that in mind you know um, I'd go ahead and place the order if you want one and that was on just that was on any um, dehydrator that I was interested in and uh, when I do get it I will do a video show you what I got unbox it and uh, um, we'll, we'll do something with it and uh, I'll give you a review on it um, but if it's non essential you're going to wait quite a while for your products I've already noticed you know stuff I used to be able to order and I would get it next day second day now it's a week week and a half so those things you know something you've got to put into consideration um, but I just wanted to bring you a quick video like I did say in the very beginning I covered something back in December on food shortages for 2019 and 2020 didn't look good either is the name of the video um, and I go into detail um, at that point and everything that I stated in there came from the USDA and uh, the government sites. Um, now we put this um, bug on top of it and uh, I think we just threw a whole wrench into our whole system. But if you use your head and you plan ahead, um, there's ways that you can ensure that come fall or winter next year, you can have an ample ample supply of food good healthy food for you and your family um, but the balls in your court so you know you got to do what you have to do you have to work within your own budget you know so my name is Charles this is survival preparedness for beginners I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos and for everything that you do for my channel uh, for the likes the comments Hit that subscribe button for me, and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.